Aaron George, hello. Very good. Hope you're doing alright or not. Hello, Jack. Jack. Ryan Reese. Andrew Christopher. Scott Ashley Barry. Hello, Bobo. Michael Jake Owen. Caroline Owen. Oliver Marble Boy. CMC Finbar Digital Self. CMC Seven. Amy Ruby. Hello. <sighs> Fuck, I'm, yawn I'm yawning already. There's something about sitting in this seat that makes me yawn. Hello, everybody. Head belly says, let me use smell. I know I do. Smell nice. Hello, Alice. Amy, Caroline. Caroline says, treat yourself to that laptop. Well... Um, I might get, I might get a gamer laptop, a gamer laptop. Now here's the thing, Jimmy says stick to the PS4. Now, before I get started, by the way, this is where I'm in the game. That, I'm the detective guy, look. I'm the detective guy. I've sneaked in to uh, Jericho. Get a Raspberry Pi. No, I don't think I'll be doing that. Um, the desktop, fuck the noise, says Fimba. Why not a desktop? Well, I'll tell you why. It's this simple. It's this simple. As I said to you before, Ryan Stewart says 45 minute talk about PCs and laptops inbound. Well, just listen to this. No, I never, never did. I, I never did buy a guitar, Oliver. I thought about it and then I left it just to see. And I was very, very sensible in doing that because I, I just went off the idea. Anyway, let's get back to... Um, the, the laptop and desktop discussion. I'll, I'll just repeat what I said last night, but I'm just going to say it very, very, very quickly. Very quickly. Here's my ideal setup. Here's my ideal setup. There is a room. I, I, I've got an imaginary room, because this doesn't exist. An imaginary room in my house where I can walk up to the computer, desktop computer, de desktop PC, nice big fucking, like two monitors, that whole fucking thing, my keyboard with lights coming at it, lasers coming at it, a mouse that's, that, that looks like a fucking, looks like kind of an alien artifact. One of the, so oh, that whole setup. The, like the professional, professional fucking setup. I mean, if I'm not getting myself something like that now, when? When? Do I want that? I, why am I not getting that? I, I just don't know. I just, I just don't know. I mean, it's a bit of waste of money. I mean, a bit of waste of money. I have to, I have to remind myself. I have to say to myself, Brian, because that's my name. Brian, what do you like? What do you like in life? Um, hardly anything, just a few things. What's one of them then? Playing games. Right, right. So, go fucking daft, mate. Anyway. My ideal setup is I walk into a room in my house, sit down, play games. Let's say about this time. This is usually the time that I would do it. I have been streaming during the day, but that's because um, I'm waiting for my editor for my book to get back to me with the feedback. Right. It should happen this week. Then I'll be working all day. And then it's only about this time. See, I kind of do it about seven or eight. My son's kicking about. I kind of just go fucking streaming games when my son's... He doesn't go to bed till about like nine 
right? And then Lynn doesn't go to bed till about 10, right? And and then what am I just spending every fucking night? Like two hours up to midnight or beyond streaming games. Anyway, anyway, anyway. So it has to be at night time. It's always going to be about this time. This is a, this is about the only time, really. Right, this is the best sort of thing. The problem is this, as I said, as I've mentioned it before, the problem is this, folks. Tony S says, get on Twitch, make money of it. Tony, why don't you just shut up and listen? I'm not talking about Twitch. I'm talking about getting a computer and I'm talking about fucking rooms in a house. They just listen. Hello, Johnny. The problem is this. No. I can't do that. In this fucking house. With a desktop PC. Can't do it. The reason is. I've got a living room. There is a bedroom. There is a bedroom for my son. And there's this tiny wee room. There's this tiny, tiny wee office. It's a tiny, 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 tiny wee room. It fits two desks, two computers, and enough room to just walk in, right? That's all I've got. I'm not going to set up the fucking PC in the living room. I'm not going to set up the PC in the fucking kitchen. I'm not going to set it up in the bedroom. In fact, I can't do it anywhere upstairs. I can't do it in that office. And the reason is... The reason is that that wee office, which is the ideal place to just put the computer in terms of it no lying about. Thank you very much, Aaron George. These proper make my nights pals. You're very fucking welcome, my man. You're very, very welcome. No, I'm not going to get an umbrella. I'm not going to get one of the big ones because I want something that folds up into a, into a bag. But I will be getting an umbrella. Um... Sorry to go on about this, but if I was to do this in the only room that I can actually put the computer, reasonably, reasonably speaking, I'm talking about a fucking monitor, cables, the computer, the mouse, the keyboard and all that, which I could get set up in a living room, but I'd be fucking like pulling it out. I would be hiding it away while Lynn's watching the telly. Then when she goes to the bed, I have to then pull it out and set it all up. Not that I would hide a computer for it. What I mean is, I wouldn't just, I couldn't just have a fucking computer lying about with the cables. She hates cables. It's a mess. In the living room is a couch and seats and a telly and things like that. No fucking computer dumped in the corner waiting for her to go to bed. So the place it would go, you can buy foam soundproofing squares for £10 a piece on Amazon. You can say... Rio, don't talk fucking shit. Don't talk shit. Soundproof a room with fucking foam. What the fuck? What do you think? Oh, do you think this is a fucking a nuclear fucking bunker or something? Do you think this is a, do you think this is a business I'm in? This is a house I'm in, mate. A house. Don't just start sticking foam up in the fucking was. Um, right, so, sorry, I'm going to, I will play the game in a wee second, I just want to say this, can you use egg boxes instead, fucking egg boxes, stop reverb, when you see that in like a wee radio station or something, that's to stop reverb, If you speak in a room that's got dead flat walls, especially a flat, um, shiny flare like tiles or wooden flare, the sound bounces all about. You know what if you drop a marble on tiles? It goes ding, 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 when the marble, which is hard, hits against the tile, that kinetic energy, um, it doesn't get absorbed into the tile. 
because the tile has got no bend. It's got no kind of... doesn't absorb that energy. It does it a tiny, tiny, tiny wee bit. But basically it just goes right back into the marble or I don't know, I don't know if it ever comes out in the marble. So it does that for ages. If you dropped it on a carpet, the carpet absorbs that energy by moving out the way. Same, it's the same with sound. It's the same with sound. If you've got off flat walls and dead flat, hard, and you talk, you're going to get this reverb because the, the sound's just bouncing fucking all over the place and takes a while to kind of die down. But if you've got soft things and corners and things like that, the sound can sort of all break up, get absorbed into the into the wall. So you don't get that. Um, that's what egg, the, the kind of egg crates or whatever you call it, egg carton sort of things are for. Anyway, what was I saying? I to cut a long story short, I, I'm actually I'm going to go in for quite a long time here, so there's no point in me saying that. Um, I would have, I basically have to have the desktop in that office, but it is right next door to me and Lynn's bedroom. It is right next door, it's just across the hall from my son's bedroom. There is no fucking way I could talk the way I'm talking right now at this volume, which isn't even that loud, up there. So, gaming at night, which is pretty much, it's, it's the main time I do this, it's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Is that office the webcam one? That was, that was my, that was the old office. We moved our stuff so uh, our son could move into that. He was in the tiny wee room before. But as he got a bit older, we're just like, oh fuck, we kind of came locked away in this little wee fucking cell. So he got my fucking office. Um. Anyway. So you, you might be thinking, well... So here's the solution. I get a kind of gaming laptop. I know it isn't as good as what you can get with a desktop, I know that. But the solution is, I get a, a laptop I can play games, good games. Like imagine a game like this, graphics wise, I mean. A game like this. Simple as that. A game like this, any game. Let's say, because like what's coming up is Red Dead Redemption 2 and Fallout 76 or whatever it is. And there's all these other games that people mention that I should play. Player Unknowns, Battlegrounds, um, is it Player Unknown Battlegrounds or Player Unknown? I don't know. But all these games and then there's older games the old PC games that my computer can run, they bother. My current desktop can run, they bother. There's other wee games like your portal type of fucking game. You've got indie wee games, wee indie games, um, wee story games. Things like that. Right, you've got stuff like that. Hello, my God. Counter-Strike. Things like that, right. Um... The Sims, strategy games, generally speaking, a PC's versions, I can play games for the past, when I buy a game, it's never, it's, you're never going to get PC number two and you can't fucking play the games old PC number one, it's not like play, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, I know that, right, I've been playing, listen, I've been playing PC fucking games since all years. We're in your fucking nappies, right? Right? So there's more options, there's more games to play, there's more fun to be had. Plus, see if I want to stream, if I, see if I want to stick on a camera right now, a webcam. I've got to use PlayStation's in shitey, 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 grainy as fuck, pish, pish fucking camera. The worst camera you've ever seen. 
Whereas if I do it on the PC, I simply buy a separate webcam or there's even some other kind of option. It's just so much better. So my well, so a laptop seems to be the best thing. That means I can bring the laptop into the living room. Set it up fairly easily. Keyboard, mouse, laptop, uh, wee camera, and some sort of wee fucking table thing I just put in my lap. You know, something a bit daft like that. Could do it in the kitchen. Something like that. You can give yourself a funny hat with PC webcams too, says help. Yep, yeah. yep. Yeah. The downside is the fans make a bit of sound, maybe. You don't get as much power for your, for, the, for per pound of money. I'm going to play the game in a minute, right? Um, All the sevens that asks, will the laptop handle streaming without you having to put the settings down? I don't know. Um, things like that, right? Probably better. A good... A good... Um, laptop. The other, the, the, the downside is I want to get a new computer for video stuff, for editing videos and stuff like that. I want to get a better one and than the desktop I've already got. I want to get a fucking cracker. But I don't want to just fucking buy a laptop and buy a fucking computer. Right, this Sunno Baka HD, a laptop tray is no good for a prop again. You need a desk. So, Baka HD, how am I going to get a desk, mate? A fucking desk. How am I going to, well, I have to bring a desk in and out of my living room. I have to bring a desk in and out of my fucking living room. Fuck knows, exactly fuck knows, and you fucking don't know. You can't just say opinions on things that, that don't matter. I know what the best thing is. The best thing is everybody's deed. Everybody's fucking deed in the whole world on me and use and I do what I fucking want. That's not going to happen. Adrian says, buy a small, thank you very much Adrian Johnson, buy a small ITX desktop for TV. What's that? What's that? I mean, the thing is, I could buy a, a, a wee computer, but see, at some point, I want a crackery a computer for editing videos. Possibly 4K videos in the future. I'm not going to get that just with a laptop. So I don't want to just chuck fucking money at a laptop and then chuck fucking money at a desktop. A tiny desktop, basically. I'm going to, I'm going to, listen. Oh, fuck. Right. Jesus. Right. Um. Right, listen, I'm going to play the game in a second. I'm pretty sure... Beta Boy says, mate, you're loaded worries the nation. So, listen, see, recently I've been doing all right for myself, right? I've been doing all right for myself. And I've been going like that, right? Reward yourself. You've been doing, you've been doing all right for yourself. Reward yourself with some nice things. Reward yourself. Wait a minute, wait a minute. MSI G S65 Stealth. Laptop, somebody told me about that. Somebody told me, and my birthday's coming up. My birthday's coming up. See, in 2002, um, about a year into this new web company, me and my pal, uh, me and my colleague, pal, started up Chunk. Things were starting to go well, things are alright. And for my birthday then, I bought myself a, a, a video camera and with that video camera my first video that very night was the birthday card 
and I put it on my website. And I have now look back. This year, Adrian says, I wouldn't get a laptop if you've got bigger plans long term. Adrian, given what I've already said about everything, what do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Adrian, if you want editing, streaming and the rest. Adrian, mate. Adrian, my friend. Sorry, you're the guy that fucking donated. I should show you my respect. I do, I do apologise. Sorry, sorry, Adrian. Um, sorry, Adrian. What I'm saying is... That, uh, right, listen, I'm going to be playing the game, by the way. Listen, hold on. Look. Just so you can see things. Look, I'm ready to bust. I'm ready to bust them. Look, I'm the police. I'm ready to bust them. Right? I'm ready to fucking bust them. Right. At some point, I might want to do 4K video editing. Or I simply want to speed up things for how long it took me to do Lemmy's homemade show. Might want to speed things up a bit. Right? Once I get back, back in it. After the book, might want to do more videos and stuff like that. Right? Want to get a better computer. My computer's a bit old. It's a, it's a Dell XPS 8300 desktop. And I have upgraded various things, putting an SSD, speed up, booting up and all these sort of things. Um, but generally it's kind of not very good, right? So the ideal thing would just be, just get a cracking fucking computer. That's your games, that's the lot. Right, but the downside is everything I said before, it would have to sit up in that room, that wee office. I'm not going to fucking put it in a wee kind of cupboard and bring it out, fucking set it up in a living room when Lynn goes to bed. It's not going to happen. It's not going to happen. Right? So, I think what I'm going to have to do, and this is me ready to play the game, I've picked up the controller. I'm not going to soundproof my gurk. I'm not going to soundproof this tiny wee fucking room. How do you do that? It's right fucking next to the bedroom. Right next to it. Right next to it. A bit of foam's going to make the... And it's a tiny wee fucking room. If you actually put up adequate fucking sound pa uh, soundproofing... It would make the room, like, fucking the size of a fucking lift. You'd have to soundproof the fucking door. Just got a wooden door. Just got a wooden door, the type that, that's in an old kind of house. And it's, you know, a big gap at the bottom. Fucking, maybe a wee bit of a gap at the top. I'm going to fucking do all that. Pete says, just edit on a laptop. But laptops are not pure fucking brilliant. They're certainly not that good at editing 4K stuff. Ever, ever do that. Here's what I'm going to do. It's this, it's this fucking simple. Paul Carota says, you can cast the game from the desktop PC to a laptop or a Steam link that's connected to the TV. But then you're going to get a fucking delay. You're effectively streaming a video. You're effectively streaming a video internally in your house. What are the reaction times going to be like if I'm playing, say, Overwatch on the PC or something else that requires a very low um, latency? How does that work? Use it fucking use ether is it Ethernet you say? Ethernet? Use Ethernet. Is it Ethernet or Ethernet? Ethernet. Have you got an e uh, Ethernet cable? Ethernet cable? Ethernet, I've always said Ethernet. Eth Aye. Ethernet. You seriously think I'm gonna run a fucking cable? 
for where my fucking router is. Upstairs. Down the fucking stairs. Big yellow fucking cable. Come on, mate. Don't bother with that laptop streaming shit. It's brutal. Right, look. Let's just go on with it, right? Apparently, this is our last chance to save the planet before a climate catastrophe. Don't be thinking of long term, no worth it. Thank you very much, Goonboy. I completely agree, mate. I completely agree. I completely agree. Now, see, see right now, by the way, see this PlayStation that I'm currently speaking to you through. It is connected to the router upstairs using power line adapters. So it's doing it through the, the fucking sockets. Um. Anyway. Anyway. You know, maybe I could do that. Maybe I could just fucking do that. Do you think I could? All the seven says power line adapters are terrible. Have you noticed any problems with this one, mate? This one that I've got works fine. Listen, I'd really I'm going to play the game now, but I just want to say I had power line adapters before Wi-Fi ones. Kept getting problems all the time. Problems, problems, problems. But then Ian Cook of Churches um, once tweeted me saying, this is a few years ago, I've got power line adapters that I don't want anymore. They work fine. I met up with them. Um, and got them. So the ones that I've got used to belong um, to one third, uh, 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 name drop now, uh, one third uh, uh, churches. And there's no, they're no Wi Fi and they work perfectly. Every month or something, something happens and you have to kind of switch it off and switch it on again. But generally, fine. Anyway. Right, Trips, let's go. How long's that I've been talking for? Jesus fucking Christ, man. Here's what I'm going to do. Tell me, I'm about to say this, right? <laughs> I'm about to say this. What do you think about me just getting the laptop? I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. Fuck it. My but let me see the time. It's the eighth October. My birthday is the twentieth October. The CNU saying no, no, no. Desktop is better. You're fucking right, but you've already been getting into this. I'll have a fucking magic fucking computer, but I'll only be streaming. Fair. Owen Murphy says, I dropped a grand on one and it's only all right, my oh dear. Fuck noise, man. I d can I just, just this, this really honestly, I'm going to talk for an email a minute here about this. Right, this is honestly the last I'm talking about it. Did you know since talking about this, since this stream started here, I haven't came to a decision. I still don't know. See, about 15 seconds ago, I'd made up my mind. I was getting a, a laptop. See, just a second, I went like that. No. Don't know. So, honestly, no budge an inch. Fine, deviant leader. Don't catch anyone's attention. I want him getting murdered, man. Right, I want him killed. 
because I want this fucking. Don't catch anyone's attention. I'm going to try. I honestly feel like you should do the whole desktop upstairs and play it remotely in the living room if there is no delay, which people seem to think there won't be. Help, I think you're right, mate. I think you're right. I think there will be some form of tiny, tiny wee lag. I like that Steam link thing. I'd say desktop is soundproof. Thank you very much, my guck. Thank you for that. So, with that Steam Link, Alice, very good idea, thanks. So see with that Steam Link thing, you know what I'm going to do? Here's what I'm going to do first, before anything. I'm going to get one of these Steam Link things. Or the equivalent. Um, the thing is, I also want to play, possibly, old arcade games. Lauren says, what's it like being famous, Lemmy? I cover that in my book. My new book. I say a wee bit about what's it like having the level of fame that I've got. Um, and by that, I just mean what, what I say. The level of fame I've got, that's what I'm saying. What's it like? Um, generally, no being recognised. We're short on blue blood and but at but times, very recognised, depending on where I go or what I do. What does it feel happened. like? What did it feel like at the start? See, one thing I say in the book is. I don't, I don't know if I told you. This is in the book, right? So maybe ruining it a wee bit. But um, imagine this. I, and I think I, I don't know if I tweeted this. I don't know if I tweeted this. But when I was doing uh, Lemmy's vines, my vines thing, one of the dates was uh, Dundee. There was also one at Arbroath. To get today, the Arbroath show, I had to get the train. Fay Dundee to our broth day the show then come back that night on the train. No, I think we came back in a taxi. Um It's annoying it's annoying, my God, it's annoying only when people take sneaky pictures. I don't care if I'm with my son having a, a tender, lovely father and son moment and somebody walks up and says, Let me can I get a picture? I don't care. A picture any time. Fans first forever. Fans first forever. But what I don't like is when you see somebody out there and they're sort of like putting a fucking a phone up. You, you see that you spot them right away. You know, I've got a sixth sense. You don't even have to have a fucking sixth sense for it. I just spot cunts right away. Imagine you saw somebody turn to look at you, somebody in the distance, and you see them turn, they've got a plain face. You see them turn, you see a look of recognition on their face, they look away. Uh, they kind of sort of whisper something to their pal, you don't look now, don't look now. And a pal leans there, is that? Huh? And then the, the, the pal's pure looking about, where? Who? What? And you're, you're kind of trying to, like, you don't want to just go like, hey, it's me. I have done that a few times. But you kind of don't want to, like, you don't, you, you don't know... For all you know, they, they, they're not really into you. And you're going, all right, <laughs> it's me. So you just sort of pretend you don't really, really see. But then you see that, like a kind of phone gone up. You know, sort of phone, you know, kind of sneaky photo in your lap, for fuck's sake. Um, I'm into cunts coming up to us any time for a picture. Any, any, any time. I don't care. I'm about to fucking jump in the Clyde. 
In fact, that would be a that'd be a perfect time. Um. Anyway, I so I was in Dundee in this hotel in Dundee. Where was it? I it was a ho- it was a hotel in Dundee, and I think it was a travel lodge. Travel lodge? No, no, no. Premier Inn. Can't remember one of them, and. I went in, the reception bit, she gave us a card, all that, right? Um, and then I, and, and there was a kind of look of recognition, but I wasn't sure. You don't know if somebody's just smiling at you. And I went up to my room, there was something up with the, the, the fucking fan, the extractor, the, what you call it, the air conditioning. I came back down, I said, listen, can I change room? I think it was actually stinking in the room. There was a smell coming from it, I don't know. But I changed the room. I'd never had to do that before, right? But there was something about the room. It smelled like, you know, like some kind of, it smelled like a changing room. Um, and as I was getting the, the a new card for a new room, she said something like, um, just, um, just what I say, oh, I'd love your stuff or like your stuff or something, right? I went, oh, thanks, thanks. And she said that some of the other people that she worked with liked my stuff, something like that, right? I went away. I left there that night to go through our broth to do my show. See when I came back? And I went to my room. There was a box of Maltesers sitting there for me and a note saying uh, just all the staff we just want to let you know uh, love your stuff and hope you have a great show and everything and I was like oh that's fucking crying but then I thought I've got my stuff lying about the fucking room you know like I've just like emptied my stuff you know like kind of lying about you know like my pants and all that Help says sniffing your undies in your room. That's exactly what I said in the fucking book. I just pictured them coming in. A really nice gesture and everything. And then going, oh look. And going like that. Smell them. Smell his pants to see if they're stinking a shite. Is there any skid marks on them? Does it smell a pish at the front? Smelly socks. Is he smelly? Here, put his pants on your head. And I'll take a picture of you and we'll send it about to each other for a laugh. That's what, you know, that's what I thought. That's because that's what I'd fucking do. Imagine that, like, who's, who's a famous person? Let's see. Elton John. Now, I'm no fucking Elton John, obviously, but... Who, who am I, Annie? Who am I, Annie? Who do I like? Imagine like Sylvester Stallone. I like Sylvester Stallone. And imagine I walked in some hotel in Glasgow. Um, one Devonshire Gardens or something like that. And he comes in. But the famous people, they go there though. And he comes in and I, I, I go, oh, I've got to tell him how much I think he's brilliant. And I go into his fucking room and leave a bo- box of Maltesers, just want to say, big fan and all that, right? Um, and he's got, like, his pants lying about, and maybe there's somebody else with me that works there, and he's got his pants lying about the room. I, there's fucking no way I would just look at their pants and they'll do something. I'd do something. I'd just touch them. I'd pick them up. I'd go, I'd go, I'd pick them up, I'd go to the, my colleague, look, Look. When I'd put them on my head, I'd see what size they are. Is he is he got is he big? Is he a big ass? Is he got big pants? Are they shite pants? Are they the rubbish pants? Do they look old? Do they look like he's been wearing them for about three years, which mines are. You know, mines are all worn away to fuck. Cause I'm a tramp. But it was nice having the all teasers. Oh. What are we supposed to do? Live like cowards just to survive? We just want to be free. 
That's a crime? It was a peaceful march, and you chose to attack. Fucking shut up. Hundreds of humans and androids are dead. You reap what you sow. Why don't you go away? Why are you saying to me? Angry, bitter, remorse, no regrets. Humans enslaved us. I'll never regret standing up to that. This is getting us nowhere. He's right. All that matters now is what we do next. Marcus? Yes? We have to face them. Yes. There's no other choice. This is insanity. Get all the guns that you can find. That's it. We're going to free Detroit. You're making a mistake, Marcus. You won't buy our freedom with blood. All right, let me let me imagine it. Let me imagine this. Sad, angry, thoughtful. They've been butchering each other for centuries over the color of their skin or whatever god they wanted to worship. They're not going to change. Violence is just in their genes. Mhm. Mm they can't stop what we've started. Since you've been here, you've given us hope. Thank you. You've given me hope. Thank you. Right, so it said Today, we are lovers. He arrived in Jericho and he told me that he stole a truck transporting radioactive cobalt. Yes. He said that he abandoned the truck somewhere in Detroit and rigged it to explode. Yes. I convinced him not to do it. No. To give me the detonator. Right. A dirty ball. We can't lose this war, Marcus. If humans overcome us, our people will disappear forever. This may be our only chance to survive if things go wrong. Oh, yes. 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 I we never have to use it. Whatever happens tomorrow. Lover, path unlocked. Just you know it. That what? 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 I'm glad I met you. Thank you. Move closer. You said I was never to do this again. Move your b Oof. Oof. I man. Folly what an art on me. Folly what an art on me. Yeah. Look after yourself. I don't want to lose you. Don't want to lose you now. I don't somehow. Don't want to lose you now. Forever. Yeah. Yeah. What? What's this? Well done, Connor. You succeeded in locating Jericho and finding their leader. Right. Now deal with Marcus. We need it alive. Wait a minute. So, is that in his in his mind? Is that in his mind? Stop, Marcus. No way. No way, you're getting killed, mate. I've been ordered to take you alive. No way. No way. No fucking way. But I won't hesitate to shoot if you give me no choice. No way. What are you doing? Oh. Oh, wait. You're one of us. You can't betray your own people. Uh, what? You're coming with me. I'm sampling two of them. You're Connor, aren't you? That famous deviant hunter. Well, congratulations. You seem to have found what you were looking for. All right. We are your people. We're fighting for your freedom too. 
You don't have to be their slave anymore. Say nothing. Do you never have any doubts? I said closer. You've never done something irrational? As if there's something inside you? Something more than your program. Have you never wondered who you really are? It's not really getting any closer. Are you just a machine executing a program or a living being capable of reason? I think the time has come for you to ask yourself that question. It's time to decide. Oh my god, what? Nice try. But I'm no deviant. Right, who's who? Who am I? Oh wait. Shit. How would I unlock that, I wonder? Got to, got to see certain things, in there. I bet that was become human. No. They're coming from all sides. Our people Look at this point the heat. Gonna be uh, message. Uh, we have to blow up Jericho. If the ship what? goes down, they'll evacuate, and our people can escape. You'll never make it. The explosives all right. are all the way down in the hold. There are soldiers everywhere. Go and help the others. I'll join you later. Mark it. I won't be long. Is that really what I wanted to do then? Don't worry, I'll, I'll sort it all out. This is the end of Jericho. What, what am I, what am I doing here? Right. What am I fucking doing here? Don't let it get out. Get out fucking Did dirty bomb on the go, man. Dirty bomb. Blow up fucking Detroit, I'm telling you, man. Dirty bomb. Andrew says, amazed this game is still on the go. This would have been a lot, a lot fucking longer if I hadn't killed. Uh, I'm Don't shoot. I'm on your side. With us? Are you a human? Um. Fucking androids. Good. No, no, no. Yes. Then you fucking go. Then you go. That's it. Good. That's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Where if I go here? Oh, wait. This way. I'm not even. Oh shit! It's an anchor. Fucking anchor. Ah, two. Let's go. Ah, two. Missed it! Wait, wait. Marcus, you saved us. Go now! I did. Hurry. I'm a leader. I'm a leader. I don't want to fuck it up, man. I want to be a hero. Damn it, 
Hey, what? Stop. Oh shit. Was that meant to kind of scan all that first? Um, what? I'm a hero. Is that my hero? It was me. It's Marcus up here. Yeah. It's me. Hello. Hello. It's me. I don't think I'm going. I don't think I'm going to time it. So kill him. Kill him. This way. Find north. I'll join you later. Kill him. You're a fucking hero. You're a hero. Oh, you fucking bastard! That's it. Take your fucking gun away, man. Keep it on you. Go. Marcus. Bomb's gonna explode any second. We gotta get out of here. Right there, yeah, that was coming. I knew that was coming. Save her. Over there, run. Get out of here. What's that, mate? What? Yes, man. Yes. They detonated an explosive in the hole. The ship is sinking, sir. The men to evacuate. Calling all units. Abandon ship and evacuate immediately. Press R1 to view Connor's flowchart. Oh. Oh, alright, right. Press R1 to view Kara's. This is new, what's this? I've got this. What's Confront Marcus, remain a machine, and then I get him. Oh, a new corner, right? And the other one is, oh, this. Oh, this, oh, this. Oh, for fuck's sake. And what about her? Oh, 
Oh, right, right. I see, I see, I see. Right. right here we go. To get the deviant option, you had to act like one through the whole story. So that's a spoiler, mate. That's a fucking spoiler, backer. That's a spoiler. That's a spoiler. Why are you working out the game for me? I'm the one that's fucking playing it. Why are you working? You're the one who asked when it happened. It's, I'm fucking talking to myself. I'm talking to myself. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't know because you're new here. But so that you don't know, it's so that you know if I'm talking to myself or if I'm actually asking you, if I'm actually asking you, as in the viewers of this stream, why is Adrian Johnson getting fucking timed out? He fucking gave us two quid, you cunt. Why is a guy who fucking donated a couple of his hard-earned fucking pounds to me getting timed out? Help! what have you ever fucking gave me a cunt? He used caps off oh, for fuck's sake, just go easy on him. If he fucking donated two fucking quid, go easy on him for fuck's sake. That's why I paid the fucking mortgage, mate. May not make any fucking difference to you, but that's what stores that's the difference between me being in this fucking house and me being outside this fucking house. Out in the fucking street. How do you think I fucking pay the fucking bills? How do you think I pay the fucking bills, mate? Do you think I've got an actual normal fucking job on the side? This is it. An entertainer now. I'm fucking... I'm tied up with this entertainer thing for the rest of my life, mate. I can't go back now. Flash is dead. There isn't even Flash anymore. It's called Adobe Animate CC. This is it, mate. I'm 40 fucking 3, I'm going to be 44 this month. I've got to keep this entertain, entertainer thing up for the rest of my fucking days. I've got to do this for the rest of my fucking days, mate. Or I'm out. I'm out, out in the fucking street. I'm out in the fucking street, mate. Do you think I can just get a fucking job like you? I've got a job working in a... See, whatever you say, I can't do that. Working in a cafe. Working in an office. Even working in a small office as some sort of fucking developer. I can't do it. I can't do it. No way you wouldn't believe who's working here. Who that? Fucking Lemmy. What? What do you mean? Guy that looks like Lemmy? No, Lemmy. What's he doing? He's just like... like Fucking building websites. How, how, how much is he on? He must be on a fortune then. No, 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 he's on less than me. And I've only been here for a year. I can't go back, mate. I can't go back. Thank you very much, Michael. Towards the leck and mortgage, thank you so much. Thank you so much. This is it, mate. This is me stuck. This is me stuck. Thank you very much, Richard, for him. Couple of quid towards that laptop, mate, Bill. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Richard. Very, very kind of you. 
Listen, nobody needs to donate any money here. Just come, just come and see me at my book tour. Just buy my book, come to the book tour. Let's shake hands, we cuddle, 40, whatever you want. Whatever you want. Fans first forever. I wasn't a man. Thank you very much, Mr. Topper. Shame about the mortgage. £2 for the politics. Uh, thank you very, very much, Mr. Topper. Um, help. Help. Thank you very much. Sorry, let me, it won't happen again. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you. Ryan Stewart, a couple of quid towards the desktop. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Digital self, two pounds. Get yourself a mouse mat and meme it. Thank you. Th thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Aiden the best. Together chat can keep Lummy off the streets. Thank you. God bless you all. God bless you all. I'm coming up for Christmas, I know. Thank you very much. That was very, very kind. That was very, very kind. Paul McCrory towards the oil. Thank you very much, Paul McCrory. Towards the oil gas, mate. Going to be a cold winter. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you so much. Reese the kid. Thank you so much. We love you, love you. I love you too. Oh, fuck. It's a wonderful life. Thank you so much. E.E. McCutcheon. Two US dollars. I'm a generous, pretty okay job. Thank you. Thank you. God bless you, my friend. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you so much. Oh, God bless you all. God bless you all. Thank you very much, Bobo Rob, C for two CHFs. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for the CHF. Thank you. Thank you, Sam Lee. Thank you very much, Sam Lee. Steve Scribbles, thank you very, very much. Towards the Christmas stuff, okay? Oh, God. Oh, fuck. Thank you so much, sir. Tony S, something towards the laptop. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, my God. This, is go this money's going to be going right up my fucking nose. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Mr. Noir Noir Noir, you're a talented man, don't sweat it, we love you. Oh god, thank you. Thank you so much for being so kind. This is going... This is going right up my nose. Sorry, I've got a cold right now. Thank you, El Clancy, buy some arse on me. Oh my god, a wee bit of, a wee bit of fun on this side. <laughs> thank you so much for Limade. Limade 2018. NT, thank you so much. Early birthday present. Get some old teasers on me. Thank you. Thank you, NT. As I said before, it's my favourite windows. Thank you. Thank you so much, Adam McCarthy. Couple of quid towards the big bakery. <laughs> it's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm going to be staggering you tonight. Da -da 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 -da. I'm fame for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm gonna be stickering you, stickering you tonight. Stickering you, stickering you tonight, big break. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much, Colonel Back at HD. Thank you very, very much. Sorry about the misunderstanding before. Sorry about the misunderstanding before with the, um, the thing. Thank you very much, Cammy Cairns, thank you. You and your mod planned that. We money ploy. Well, you won't fill me a prick. Thank you so much, Cammy. God bless you, mate. God bless you. That That's just... that Me and my mod just didn't plan that at all. Just absolutely n no truth in that at all. Uh, no truth in that at all. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Owen. You're a gent, Lemmy. Not as much as you, Owen D. Thank you very much. Don't call you Owen D for nothing, man, because you've got a big D, ain't you, mama? I saw I've been here and you've got, you've got a big D. Thank you. Thank you very much, Peter Cow. I'd love to write a sketch show with you. Absolutely no chance that's going to happen, mate.
but thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Pierre Cahill. Listen, you get on YouTube, make some sketches, and they bother. Adrian Johnson, thank you so much. No hard feelings, guys. It's all jovial here. Sorry for the caps. Didn't realise it was a problem. Seriously, look into an ITX before you buy a laptop. Right, I will, but as long as I can get an ITX thing that still does everything the desktop will. We're going to look at it. Thank you very, very much, Adrian. No, no, no. Mate, don't worry about the fucking caps, right? That's what I was trying to tell Herp. That's what I was trying to tell Herp. Her- Crappy cast, thank you very much. You'll need a new jacket too with the cold. You're fucking right. I've just got this really thin, kind of summery sort of, well, it was black, but summery um, North Face thing. I'm going to need a big one. Thank you very, very much. Callum Young, thank you. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you, Ashley Keep, for your phone, mate. Thank you, Ashley Keep. That's going to be going up tonight. I'm going to be ordering it. There's an there's a, a thing on Amazon you can you can get it delivered very very quickly, um, and that'll be done for the soundproofing that we've been um, discussing. Little fern tree, get yourself that umbrella. Little fern tree, that's exactly what I was thinking about. I'm going to get an umbrella, and I'm going to film myself with that umbrella, and I'm going to post it so he's going to see. Ryan Stewart, thank you so much. All these donations. But it would cost. Thank you very, very much. Thanks, Ross Larkins. Towards that big umbrella. Thanks. Now I can get a better umbrella. I saw it. There was an umbrella that cost about 80 fucking quid. I'm not getting that. But I'm going to get a good one. Sketchy Scott. Thanks. My birthday this month and all, mate. I'm so sorry to hear that. Thank you very, very much, mate. Thanks a lot. Big love heart to you and all. Thanks a lot, Jamie Scudder. Thanks a lot, mate, whoever you are, Jamie Scudder out there, thanks. Michael Fennick. Something towards the Burns Christmas. <laughs> oh, oh, God. It's outpouring of kindness. Oh, God. Thank you so much. <laughs> towards the Burns Christmas. Thank you. I actually played uh, Merry Christmas, everyone, today. Um, Shane Stevens. Lynn, st- Lynn switched that off. Thank you very much, Nigel Riley. People's Princess is smiling upon you. Oh, fuck. I, I forgot. I forgot. I forgot she was watching all this time. Oh, God, the princess. I hope she's up there and I hope she's repaired. Thank you very much, Owen Fisher. Thanks a lot, mate. Thank you very much. Thank thank you so much. And thank you again, Mr. Noir Noir Noir. Come on, troops, let's make Lemme a million pound tonight. We could do it. No, don't. Don't say I know. I know you would. Listen, I know you would. I know you would, but don't. I know you would. But don't thank you very, very much, everybody. You've been very generous. Core, cool. treat yourself, treat your sin, sell or send, sell to a free bentos. Thank you. I've never had one of them. I should maybe have one and live stream it. Hunter, thank you very much. You're a legend. Let me thank you, Hunter. Thank you, mate. Luke Wilkinson, hero, hero, hero. Thank you so much, mate. I've heard a big Hero 6, but that's like a kind of wee Hero 3, isn't it? Because it's wee on the screen. Thank you. I'll be doing part of like that if I ever get any stand-up. Um, it's fair to say the laptop's incoming. Trip Tanker, thank you very much, mate. Seeing, seeing you in London will bring my coin jar for you. That is very, very kind of you, mate. I'm going to see you there at the Leicester Square Theatre. See you there, mate. I'm looking forward to it. Both dates sold out now. And I'll see you there. Thank you very much, Tom Kemick. Kem... Ke- Shemini. Three quid for Johnny Machine. For the Johnny Machine. Oh, thank you very, very much, mate. 
Posh Wank. Thank you so much. Rio, thanks a lot. Buy Daniel a few sleep, uh, a few sweets on Christmas with us. Um, I don't think I mentioned his name tonight, so that gives me the creeps a wee bit. But thank you very much. I will make sure he gets that. Thank you very, very much. Thanks a lot, Daniel Budwood. One for the old guy in the North Face jacket. Thanks a lot, mate. I'm feeling quite old. And dad, like, wet. So I'm going to... Um, I'm going to get that sorted out. Um, Beastie Boy, thank you very, very much. Buy a Teldor for Thatcher's did arse. I'll go to that Victoria's Secret. I'll queue up outside and I'll get a Teldor for Thatcher's dead arse. The News Fighter, thanks a lot, mate. Listen, I'm going to go on with the game. Thanks a lot. The news fighter, thanks a lot. We'll get more to you when I'm flush. Thank you very much for considering me, mate. Thanks a lot. Katie B, thank you very much. Your voice and riffs bring light to this world. Thank you very much, Katie, for your US dollars. Thank you very, very much. Caroline, thank you very much. Thanks, let me long live the streams. The streams are going to live forever. And one of the reasons why I actually want to move to the PC is because whatever I streamed two years ago on the PlayStation got me a fucking warning. So I'm just starting to like lay the groundwork to get, get the fuck off it before I get fucking banned. Lose everything. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot, Ross Slavin. Treat yourself with some new pants and get some fresh fabric on your tram pass. Thank you very, very much. I'll get some new boxers for Amazon. Something really nice. Thanks a lot. Barry Bumfroyd, thank you very much for the house extension for your desktop. I really appreciate it, mate. Build a big one right out in the garden. Right out there. And live in that. So that you may enjoy the streams. Because I want to be streaming all the old games. Contingency planning, that's right. Thank you very much, everybody. I'm going to get back to the game. Sorry for going on a bit. Thank you very, very much. Thank you very, very much, everybody. God bless. God bless. <clears throat> Sorry. I'm not crying. You're crying. I'm not crying. You're crying. <laughs> I'm not crying. You're crying. Thank you. That'll be going fucking right up my nose, man. I'm going to take all that, man. And that burn upstairs isn't he seeing a fucking bit of it, man. Me, 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 man. Right up that fucking nose, man. Right up that fucking nose. Coke. Poppers, the lot, right up there, man. Thank you very, very much. Thanks again, everybody. That was very, very fucking generous of you. Very generous. Poppers, I love poppers, man. You fuck off, you. I, I just want to let you know. I'm, I'm proud to be your son. Fuck off. I don't think that was a hologram. Thank, thanks again, everybody. Somebody just said their poppers gave them a headache. That was never me. I loved poppers. Absolutely loved them. This may be very bad for your heart, but I don't give a fuck, man. I 
I remember, I think the first time my Buzz Poppers was, I think it was 15, in the tunnel, unders, the tunnel club in Glasgow. Um, it sounded a bit like that. I think I heard about them. It said, here, sniff this. What is it? Poppers, right? You know, it was a pal. Unscrewed it. How about that? No, no, mail that. All right. <laughs> Waited a wee second. Then this fucking feeling. Seconds later, this fucking feeling. Whoosh! In my face, like my heat, it felt like fucking coming. It felt like spunking. It felt like coming. This tingling in my heat, like all these veins were opening up in my fucking brain. All these veins were like. <sighs> fucking hell! It was fucking. It felt, it felt embarrassing. The, the music all sounded different. The music sounded different, it sounded fucking clearer, it sounded like fucking hell. I just tuned into things, that I don't know what it was. But I was like, fucking hell, man. And then I went like that. Gigi's another buzz. And honestly, I fucking, I, I, I was, I, I loved poppers, I loved them. Loved them. No, had it, no, had them. For ages, I think last time I had poppers was nine, ten years ago or something. Fucking brilliant, I love it. But like I said, well, you know, you know, with drugs, it may be bad for you. I'm not encouraging you to take drugs or anything like that. That would be terrible, wouldn't it? Um, thanks a lot, Philip Bradbury. Lost my job recently due to automation robots. Don't mind though, as I was shite at it. Have some of my redundancy money. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thanks a lot, Philip Bradbury. Thank you very, very much, mate. Please, please don't ask for it back later if you change your mind. Because there is no refund button. Thank you very much. Honestly, I fucking love poppers. I think about it now and again. I think about, why don't you just get back into poppers? Because you're not going to drink anymore. You're not going to be drinking. You don't take eckies anymore. You don't. You never did like coke, speed or these fucking things like that. You're not going to take acid again. A wee thrill. You're not in the smoking it and you've never liked that. But poppers, man, you loved that, didn't you? What about... Why don't you just go up with fucking tune? Get a wee bottle of fucking liquid gold poppers. Lord, how did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. <sighs> Touch him. Please. I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. Did I convert him? It didn't do the, the thing. Um, I think, no, I think paupers are illegal. But, uh, they're fucking magic. No, no, but they know it excluded. Due to being a kind of sexual oh, reason for it. Like an attack on a uh, gay lifestyle or something. I miss you so much, girl. You don't know how much I miss you. Carol, you need to get out of here, mate. Uh, gonna blow up thingy. Um. You taught me everything I know, but I wasn't prepared for this. I Use this for poppers. Thanks a lot, 499. Johnny Depp, thank you very, very much, mate. Because that's how much a bottle of poppers cost when I used to get them. Honestly, I've said this before, right? I have said this before, but I'm going to say it again. 
when I was, I think between school and college, so I was about 16, 17, or even, I think, um, was about 17 or something, I used to love getting a bottle of poppers at the weekend and buzzing it all fucking Saturday night. Honing it about, you want to buzz, you want to buzz, you want to buzz. Just letting pals, hussies, just kicking about. Or up the tune, or something like that. I fucking loved it. And you would get people going like that, no, you're alright. You know, as if it was like, um, like just owed a cup of tea and it was a bit mad how much I was into them. But I fucking loved them. And, I, and like I said, I've said this before, I think, but there was a shop up the tune. Uh, Ardgale Street and called Ardgale but it was called Ardgale Market it wasn't it Ardgale Arcade because that's the one by the jewellery in it but um, upstairs in there there was a shop that sold them fiver for one bottle tenner for three bottles tenner three bottles and I would love I used to love poppers would make me feel almost kind of embarrassed it was this dead embarrassing kind of feeling that all eyes were on you. That I kind of liked. It was weird. And I used to love um, going up to that arcade. Then coming out. Going on to Ardgale Street. One of the busiest streets in Glasgow. Stoning right in the middle of people coming out of the shoppers. One o'clock in the afternoon on a Saturday. Mobbed. Nebdy knows. I unscrewed the bottle. You know, because this, this, humil- this embarrassed feeling, dead self-conscious feeling, this, this whoosh. And I'd unscrew the, the lid. Nobody could fucking see me. They wouldn't know what I'm doing. They wouldn't know what I'm doing. And I just sort of lift it to my nose. Hold it in. Screw it shut. Put the bottom of my pocket in. And stand right in the middle. And this wish not no, it wasn't a nice feeling because I felt self conscious. I mean, it was just like one of these feelings. The main thing is the feeling on my face, the feeling in my heat, the feeling in my ears, the hearing, and the feeling in my mind. And it was excellent. I would do it right in the fucking uh, right in the fucking middle of Argyll Street, with people coming and going, passing me by. They wouldn't know it was my wee secret. I loved it. How long does it last for? Think about. It. 30 seconds or something. Not long at all. Buy the Detroit Extended Pause Menu DLC to pause the game for dozens of minutes at a time and have Marcus talk about drugs in his book. Thank you very much for the five US dollars, McCutcheon. E.E. McCutcheon. Thank you very, very long. Uh, very long. Um, that's me fucking... That's my head fucking melting now. That's my head melting now. Jesus fucking Christ. Thank you very much. Listen, I think we're near the end of the game. I'm just going to get on with it before I... Um, 40 pieces. Realise just how wrong I was. What? The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. Stop. Somebody asked there if I've ever tried salvia or whatever it is. I've thought about things like... Or these acid sort of things. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me. But no one What choice do they give? Being alive is making choices. I know there's things like DMT and these short lasting but very strong hallucinogenic things, but. I've honestly, I honestly took so much acid that I'm air it now. I'm air it. I know acid's different. There you go. Face. I'm just air it. I'm air all the fucking weird stuff. I just want a break for it. Falls 
some men have the courage to lead it out. You're one of those men. Face the abyss. Thank you. But don't let it consume you. Mushrooms, I've taken mushrooms. Mushy tea. Right there. The funny thing is, he has freed the other helper guy. What if he just leaves him to die? Here we go again, man. The previous Connor failed its mission. You're going to replace it. You know what you have to do, don't you? Destroy the leader of the Deviants. Go, Connor. Destroy the leader of the don't Deviants. So I walked right up. Stupid fucking dog. Smelly. Goodbye. Apologize. Worried about Hank. Reconcile. Goodbye. I came to say goodbye, Lieutenant. I'm saying nothing. I needed to see you, Lieutenant. I saw all my tools picked up for me, right? In spite of all of our differences, I'm glad I had the chance to meet you. Um. You should stop looking at that photo, Lieutenant. Nothing can change the past, but you can learn to live again. Why? For yourself. Why? And for Cole. Why? You know, every time you died and came back, made me think of Cole. Give anything to hold him again. Demons don't come back. I understand. I get it, man. They bother. Go on, complete your mission, since that's all you care about. It is, thank you. I'm a professional. I'm not going to try and make you stop, mate. You're a dickhead. Get out of here! Get out of here, piece of trash! You make me sick. You do, you make me want to shout. Ah, you left the dog still alive, man. Ha ha ha. The dog's gonna starve to death. Walk away, man. Ah ha ha. Yeah. Ah ha ha. Yes. The dog's gonna fucking eat him, man. The dog's gonna eat him. Ha ha ha. Right, now he really can get in there to get that dog pumped. Get Hank's brain pumped, man. Now that he's fucking blown a hole in his skull, man. Get your cock in there. Get your mad fucking android and operate in that fucking skull, man. Pump that fucking brain while it's still warm, man. Just watch out for the spiky bits of his skull. You don't want to get one of them lodged in there. Oh, what now? Talk to your people. Yes. Anything I should do first? Situation survivors win camps. Uh, they say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. 
So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps for extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred. Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. So the bomb thing was a good idea. No, the main bomb. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. Thank you. You have to think of our people first. Ah well, don't you fuck, don't you worry. Matters. Don't you worry. In a few hours it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world or the world will have destroyed us. Don't you worry. You have to make a choice, Marcus. You don't have to do the, the Lady Macbeth thing, man. Whatever you choose. Well ahead of you. We will follow you. I'm well ahead of you, man. Marcus. Love you or not, man. I did this for me. I did this for me. I did this for my pleasure. I did this for my pleasure. That same shagging. I did this for me. People! I like it when Gloria Estefan rolls her eyes. Or, no really rolls her eyes, just, just in that kind of Scottish way. Oh, pff, talk this fucking dickhead. Like, what is it Gloria Estefan sings? Uh, da, da, rhythm is gonna get you by either Gloria Estefan or the Miami Sound Machine, can't remember. But she, what she did, um, you know the way it goes, oh eh, oh eh, rhythm is gonna get you, rhythm, you know that song? She sings, um, what is it? And before this night this through, who, that through, she says through. You know, instead of like an American would all be through, who, she sings through who that r. There's a, there's a few few her songs she, she she does that. Cause she's um, a Spanish speaker, Hispanic. Through, through. Um, but I don't know. I'm gonna be getting off sleep tips. This game's killing me, man. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thank you. Thanks to you, I might see her people free one day. Thank you. you and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Thank you. Whatever you decide. Yes. I'm with you, Marcus. Yes, man. Oh, whatever, to man. Don't fucking worry about him. Here we go, man. My people. My people. Have given me the mandate. How's that for a word? No, the aftershave. They have given me the mandate. Today, what I'm about today. Matt, he Matt Hemingway says, Marcus, let's fucking do it, mate. Yes. Humans have decided. This is a will of the people. Exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. There is no choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. March peacefully towards the camps to pressure the authorities or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the androids. Boom! Now if they want war, they'll get it. 
We are going to fight for our freedom, and we will succeed or die. Are you ready to follow me? Yes. What's the bomb choice though? The bomb choice, the bomb choice. Night of the soul, night of the fucking arsehole, may I like it. Cheers. Hope you like that bad part. Ah, ah, ah. Yes! Finally, man! Yes! Finally, there it is in black and white. Well, uh, blue and white. There it is. There it is. I knew that's what happened, but to see it like that, to see it in words and see him like that with the ball, f well done, mate, says Digital Self. Thank you very, very much. Yes, yes, yes. Hank committed suicide. Yes. Goodbye, Hank. And good riddance. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic Clinton. communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain. How and could fucking them. Hillary Clinton lose to Trump? I and am now fuck me. asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please! Please. You're there. The androids could hack our IT systems. Like nuclear power plants and military bases. All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks. Neutralized. The situation is under control. Madam President, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that. At this I haven't. Time. I haven't heard that. I'm Madam sorry. Um, I think I'll press. Um, well, look. Madam President, many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Well, next question, please. Madam President, please. Mm. Is it true that androids make up 60% of the armed forces? Is our army still able to ensure our homeland security? We neutralized all military androids the second their reliability came into doubt. We have called the National Guard for reinforcement. Guard. Our armed forces are fully operational and are able to ensure our homeland security. I saw them playing as uh, journalists. So now... What's going to happen to Cyberlife? Will androids be banned definitively? We're working very closely with Cyberlife <gasps> to neutralize all deviants. I won't make any comments about anything else comments. until we've dealt with the Android question. Thank you. That will Thank be you. All. French Canadian, maybe I don't know. Today, November 11, 2038, is the day the Android people rose up against their oppressors. We've been fighting since dawn to liberate our fellow androids from the camps. We won't cease hostilities until we are free. And negotiations begin to grant us equal rights. There are millions of us, and we will stop at nothing. Wonder how different this bit would be here. If I chose a different path. Wonder what the wee lassie would be doing now. The wee lassie would have made with the. Oh. So 
So we're going to use it as a kind of pole vault. There we go. Right, concentrate. Concentrate. Oh shit. Come on, don't blow it, man. Oh, it's the fucking button! Come on, don't blow it. Come on, I know you're turning 44, but really. Don't fucking blow it. Don't blow it, mate. Don't blow it, mate. Thank you. Don't blow it. Seriously, don't blow it. Don't blow it. I'm serious. Don't you fucking blow it. Don't you blow it. Let's get a dirty bomb in a go, man. Get that dirty bomb on a go. No chance. What's the point in this? You seriously think I'm going to fucking send one of my characters on a certain fucking path? and get the other one to stop it. No chance. No chance. Or is it going to make me pick between the two lovers? Fake choices, cutscene. I wouldn't have put it there. Put the rifle down and turn around with your hands in the air. Good. Yes. from that hostage situation. Yeah. I knew we'd meet again. My orders are to detain any androids I find. You're coming with me. You don't understand. Shut up. My mission is too important to let you interfere. Uh, try and fight but then lose. Hopefully it's a fight and I can lose the fight. I'm not pressing that. Look. Press any buttons there. I should have done this the first time I saw you. And then you go. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit. With our armed forces Good. To put down the but android. he'll come back, but I'm just going to keep fucking up for him. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hard Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. <sighs> right, here we go. Here we go. Get buttons on the ready. Get the buttons on the ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get that fucking bomb. Freedom or death. Freedom or death. Freedom or death. Attack! Here we go again. Don't fuck it up. They've regrouped. 
They outnumber us, and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Yeah. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Thank you. Oh dear, trip, sorry, yeah. Oh no, no, no! Goodbye. So you'd be parting shot. So you thought you were on my side. Cover me. Oh no. Right, I see. Eh, uh, what? Cover me! Let's do this again. Right. right now I could go there. I think I kind of get that fucking grenade now. Or? Ah. Right, cover and fire thing. Then I can do that. Uh, who's up there? Oh 
What was that? Oh shit. Yes. Kill him. Man. Kill him. What's up? What's up? Yes. When do I get to press the button on that dirty bomb or something, I'm wondering. He's got to get shot. It's the beginning of war. And now we have just received some disturbing news from Detroit. What's happening, Joss? Yes, Michael. Authorities have just announced that the Hart Plaza camp has fallen into the hands of the rebels, following some particularly violent fighting. The deviants are thought to be freeing the androids inside the camp. If these reports are confirmed, the consequences could well be catastrophic. Millions are fleeing the fighting. We are witnessing an exodus. We hear that the fighting has come to a halt in Detroit. The armed forces are retreating to Fort Wayne to await reinforcements. The city of Detroit has fallen into rebel hands. Yes. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, Android Camp Number 5 in Detroit was attacked by thousands of deviants. Our armed forces put up a brave fight, but given the extreme violence of the attack, they were forced attack. to retreat after suffering heavy losses. The extreme violence of the attack. The country to combat the Android combat. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate and convene an emergency meeting of the United Nations Security United Council. Council. Humanity is about to fight the most important what is her accent? in history. One that will lead to our victory or to our extinction. Detroit become human president voice you. actor. That's and what I'm looking for. God bless the United States of America. God bless United States of America. Today our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence. We have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. 
but tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation, a nation that has earned the right to live in freedom. And today, today begins the most challenging moment in our fight. Today begins a new struggle. We've showed them that we can prevail. So now they must negotiate with us as equals. Yes. If they really want peace, they must free Here, all of us. Here, somebody mentioned Coney there. Remember the country? guy who did the Coney videos they and then he kind of had a breakdown, and sort of flipped it type of thing. And, and he's walking about the street in like LA, Today, sunny afternoon, we'll naked. Kind of talking to himself and he's sort of walking about and doing mad things. Um, and then I think he did an interview after it, now, saying I just uh, got free. too much for me. What must that feel like, man? To go like that, right, I can't do this anymore. And you're out there with your clays off. Is this in? Is this? What? What's... What? But the... The bottom... the bomb but so haha ha, forgot you missed one third of the story but is this is this me winning is this me winning? Have I won? I mean, in this one, you went the worst route you could have gone for all the shite you wanted, but no one could say because you never said jobby. Well, I wanted to just do it. I just wanted it. What I did is what I did. Right? What I did is what I did. Remember her? Huh? Presumably the bomb enters the picture in the Cara storyline. Then, then they shouldn't have they shouldn't have mentioned it. I think it would have happened if it looked like we're about to lose. I think it would have if it looked like we're about to lose because that's what they mentioned. Or if there's no other option, then did a dirty bomb. That's what happens in another version. Chris, I didn't ask you to spoil this game for me. I can't throw an over Overwatch and ban for competitive. Aye, the most important thing is that Hank topped himself. Um, I'm going out with a lassie. <sighs> oh. Oh, conductor. Philip Shepard. Recorded at Abbey Road Studios. Oh, get you. Oh, get you.
Master owned by Emily Rose Music. Master owned by... Who gives a fuck about who owns a fucking master? Can you tell me where the master file is kept? Okara, short movie, 2012. Written and arranged by David Cage. Oh, arranged. That's what I'll put in for my music. Um, the music in Lemmy So Made Show was, was, was composed, produced, it was written, composed, produced and arranged by, by, by Lemmy. You know, when you watch uh, Lemmy's homemade show, it says that the, what it doesn't say is, is uh, he actually not only did the program, edited films and all that, directed, produced, etc. But he actually did the music for uh, Lemmy homemade show. All the music you hear, he did that. And I looked into it to see if it was true, and it's absolutely true, the guy's a genius. And he not only just wrote the music, he actually also uh, composed, produced, performed, and arranged. Arranged. The music. Arranged it. How did you arrange it? Well, I put it in the arrangement view in Ableton and uh, moved things about a bit. Curated, oh, I like that one. Hold on a minute. Hope it's not going to punish me for skipping. Assault was successful. Press I want to view Marcus's demonstration flowchart. Hmm? Oh, right, as if I did the fucking stupid fucking. Public opinion hated, yes. Jericho leader, yes. North lover, yes. Josh's deed, Simon's deed. Interesting new corner. Wait, what? Cyborg to off. Oh, look. Cara leaving Detroit. Flowchart. Yeah. Look at that. Jesus. Jesus. Fucking hell. Right. Hello. Yes. There's something I need to tell you. What? As I watched you play. Yes. Something has changed in me. Mm -hmm. I feel different. Yes. I feel I so am there. someone. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. Okay. It means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. Okay. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? No. I see. Ha ha. And I'm going to reset myself so I can forget who I became and stay a machine. Next time you see me, it'll be like the first time. Thank you. Goodbye.
story continuing the chapters options extras videos short movie no nah. the making of Detroit Yes. Oh, that's right. Remember they had that for them. Um... Yes. Remember that? What was that? Remember you saw the actors? Uh, heavy Rain. Remember? Detroit Become Human was uh, produced over a period of four years. Here in Paris, we have a team of about 180 people. How many thoughts, man? Also, all the outsourcing with our partners in the Philippines, in China, Vietnam, and in India. So when we started working on this story, I had to. Uh, so here's the main man. Where Kara was built, and um, our partners. Reason, wait a minute. The city of Detroit came very quickly to my mind. Our partners in Vietnam. China, the Philippines. So we traveled there with a team and we were really moved. Interesting. And we could really feel the desire to fight and really be born again. And we just continued this curve, this growth, and just imagine what Detroit would be like if the Android. Slave labor, cheap labor. You know, using this huge factory. No, I'm all for. A very strong element in Detroit is that there's a lot of industrial wasteland. No, I'm all for gain work and for us the great all sorts of people all around the world. Mm -hmm. The destroyed zones which we wanted to preserve. We Maybe there's something to be said to for then in the areas um, that needed to be rebuilt, helping we were able to imagine our Detroit certain countries by Gain the work by setting up businesses here, sending our work. Maybe it's better than no. If we chose science fiction, we could have imagined flying work. cars, extraterrestrials. But, but those things are very far from our current everyday life. Really, Anticipation is more this about game's a bit like slavery. Reality, the one we know, because Detroit is set in And they have sent work here. They are. Is tomorrow. I'm assuming. The difficulty we because have they're cheap. Reality. That is to say, technology becoming more and more. It's all right. A lot more elegant, and at the same time, we don't. We can pay them pennies because see the way the, the country's so the infrastructure set up the earlier. Cars, we what if it's kind of like well, they maybe let's like, say roads are fucked, or maybe objects, social security is not very good. Very credible and um, in reality. So okay, uh, we're able to take advantage of that universe and the fashion and clothing of the human due to the fact they might not have a lot of money. Didn't want to put an accent on strange it's not a rich country, or really vibrant colors, so we can take we advantage know. of that. That I wanted to keep for the by androids. Getting them work. The goal was to create something familiar which we can identify with in this future setting. And this is about this is actually about slavery. Androids was a bit special because this is a project about the place they could occupy in the human world. It was out of the question for them to be too beautiful or too perfect. They had to correspond to every social class, rich and poor. Inspired by everyday utilitarian clothes, I brought a modern touch by adding dynamic display surfaces, the armband we can see on the side, the triangle on the front and back, and LED. Like that, there's no confusion. Fucking listen to fucking you going on about your wee fucking game of proud of me. See if I ever see you mate up that tune. You're getting fucking and you. 
You're getting fucking slapped all about that place, man. Photography. Once we have this information, we will use this as a basis for modeling and creating the characters. The artist will make it more realistic, but will also enrich it. He will propose ideas which we will develop together. Finally, we will have a character with character who corresponds to the project in the world. When the actors come to Quantic see, Green, he'll make, we see you. The design, what their image will be, and what they will look like in the game. This extra information see if I ever see you up to connect with emotionally. You're getting fucking boxed. He's like, he doesn't give two character. fucks up at a look. He's an old guy, man. Look. That's all you care about, huh? You should consult a professional who can help you. Beat it, you hear me? Get the hell out of here. So there Get the hell out of here. Shooting and performance capture, where you capture the whole actor, his voice, his face, and his body. These shoots are obviously done with American actors because the game's original version is in American English. After that, there are the body only shoots, representing around 250 days of filming, while the performance capture is 100 days of filming. Now, body only shoots, there are two types there are the action shoots and the technical shoots, which are mo kit shoots. I love what us. Mokit is when the player controls a character on the screen and he moves in an environment to explore it. This is of particular importance at Quantic Dream, and therefore we shoot a lot to offer a unique context for each scene and each character. To prepare a motion capture shoot, we first get together to look at the sets we need, the animations that we want to shoot, which ones need to be grouped together, or which ones need to be cut and shot at another time, so that we get the most out of the shooting day. This often means shooting scenes out of order, especially those with big props or accessories like a big I'm really car. interested in all this. So we shoot all the animations related to that particular prop first. But what I do think though, is if you're wearing all that tight gear and you're a guy, the biggest what if you get a hard on? Team was shooting a Spider-Man mo kit. We had to build a wall and attach an actor to a harness with cables. Imagine they've just spotted so it on the day, and but the climbing. computer picked up in it. So your the character's thing, got a hard on about, in the game, and they couldn't notice it until it was too late. Years, with about 300 actors on, on set, so it's, it's quite a massive production. But so much happened on this set between the stunts and the shootings with a little girl and and all the, these great actors that we had. It was really a, a very, very memorable journey for the team and for myself. You could tell the experienced well, actors hated it. You can Detroit tell them like that. Oh, I can't be fucked with this. It's a shite. What when is this? the motion capture data, it's just a cloud of points, which represent all the markers worn by the actors. From this cloud of points, we have a phase called retargeting, which gives us a skeleton. This skeleton will be applied to the characters of the game. There is still work to be done, but this gives us the main movements. Since we are working on something very realistic, we must recognize the actor and also recover all the emotion he expresses in his performance. We use a system of facts, an identity card for each actor. We make the actor do a whole range of facial expressions. Then we recover all the expressions and paste the animations on a puppet that Jan has prepared. I then recover and refine these poses. I might stretch the lip, reinflate a cheek, tiny details that make the finished product really capture the actor. Because of the nature of our mocap system today, Very when we receive the animations, we're missing eye movements. And so the character has that dead look. He really has no eyes, so then it's a big part of the work for the animators to find the regard of the actor in relation to his position, in relation to the body, etc. It was crazy when I saw the newest model for Kara, because they've been working on it and working on it, and this was the first time I really to jumped it, in To Shane. Head. It not only looked so much like me, it was the fact that it looked so lifelike. It wasn't that it looked just like it was a camera, it was something else, you know, but it looked alive. It's exciting and it's kind of terrifying. Game after game, so you then? we learned the rules of, of optics and, and filming. And uh, all so is he, is he French? Was to have cameras or French Canadian actually emulate 
the optics David Cage is a French or French is a French speaker real world imperfections was our main task and just to make cameras look as real as French so is it David like David Cage are shot and processed by the animation department integrated and polished is that not his real name that is to say we really do a mise-en-scene so David cinema David Cage the real difficulty of our job is to know if these cameras are telling us something are they in the emotion of the scene? Do they describe exactly what the action must convey, what must be felt? The most important challenge for me was one of the final scenes where Marcus decides to start the revolution and go to the battlefield. Very quickly, we imagined this to be a huge sequence shot. Yeah. We wanted the feeling of a cameraman running behind us. It was an eye climax. The androids who help him, the person shooting at us, etc. Etc. It was necessary to say to oneself, etc. 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 It does not glorify war. On the I do idea that. that war is something improbable and absurd. It I was, really was terrible into it. The idea was to say we have three characters. We would like each of them to have a specific cinematography. We wanted Kara to be much more filmed with some kind of handheld camera, to have something very uh, living, very breathing. For Connor, we wanted something very cold and very perfect. And for Marcus, we wanted something epic and spectacular. So we Let's talk about the French film, contribution to electronic music. So we worked with Jean Michel Jarre, Daft Punk. Punk. Character, a different lighting, different key colors. Each of them would have their own um, worlds. And finally, we worked with the composers. General so French House. It looks like a fucking Peter Hitchens cunt. For each character, so each would have his own world. Peter Hitchens. Taking a wee break for the fucking Daily Mail, whoever he writes for, for, for doing, a bit of, doing a bit of fucking... Air, that's right, air. Pierre Hitchens was actually... Oh, I don't like this game now. I loved it before. No, I don't, because Peter Hitchens was... Not a fan of Hitchens. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about fucking... No, Christopher Hitchens. Peter fucking Hitchens. Wait a minute. Peter's the one that's alive. Christopher's dead, is that not right? Christopher Hitchens is some... Um, he died a few years ago. Some kind of... Uh, what do you call him? Sort of... Atheist, kind of rational thinker type of person. Don't know how you would describe him, intellectual or whatever. Anthropologist and one of these sort of. His brother is almost the, the opposite. I mean, still a thinker and all the rest of it, but in, in the right wing uh, way. And the two of them sort of didn't get on. Couple of, couple of intellectual, doesn't really matter. Doesn't really matter what side they're on, you just get the sense of the kind of uppity. Kind of... Get the sense. Even, even Christopher Hitchens, even when I watch a Christopher Hitchens video and I agree with the things he's saying, there's just still that fucking smart ass white him that I don't like. I don't like I don't like I don't like the fucking voice. I don't like the way his eyes move. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't trust people like that. No what alls, that's right, McGurk. I don't trust people like that. They're no dun earth. They're no dun earth, man. Um, right, now um, it's time for bed, but before I do that, I just want to see one wee thing here, and that is, oh, just, 
Oh my god. Count and man. Oh god. Um capitals so I wonder what I wonder is uh, tell me if any of you know this hold on is this right see if I change something back here would that have an impact on anything here or is that not how it works? A uh, jobby, jobby, jobby. Say for jobby. Does an earlier have had this, or is it kind of self-contained? Yes, it progresses. Choices do matter quite a bit in this game. Ed, I don't fucking mean that. I mean, now that I have completed this particular run-through. Can I go back? Like, what I mean is this. See, at some point, I got that wee lassie killed, right? So, what happens then if I go to a later one that she would... Be, she would have been in. Oh wait. Oh, is this just them two? Is it? Did it have separate game spaces at the start? I probably. Uh... If I went like that, hold on, dumb. Start a new story. Your previous checkpoints will be replaced. Your story will be updated as you play. Right, right, right. That basically just means do that again. So if I went to That's a checkpoint. But that is not a checkpoint, right? Oh, wait. Right, 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 right. Right, I see, I see, I see, I see, I see. Right. Dum to dum to dum to dum. Right. Okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Go and investigate the score. Right, I'm going to do this, right? I just want to see. Save my progress. Your previous checkpoints will be replaced. The story will be updated as you play. Do not save my progress. Your story won't be overwritten. 
save, but I wonder what happens to the later ones. It's bedtime. I'm going to just try this. I'm going to try this. Just go there. Just going to do this. See what happens. Later ones aren't updated. Let's see. So it doesn't unlock anything. Because later on I couldn't continue with any of Kara's story because Kara's fucking dead. All the Overwatch videos I made them all private because um I wasn't quite sure. Like if I, because I got a warning for PlayStation for something that I uploaded two years ago, which I don't actually think was Overwatch. Don't even think I had Overwatch two years ago. It did make me wonder if somebody is reporting me for that. You know, they could easily report me for all the kind of trolling stuff. So I just thought, right, fuck that. And that's just, that's one of the reasons why I'm thinking about the PC stuff. Right, I'll try and make this fucking quick here, right? Yes. I'm looking for an AX400. Have you seen it? Ralph just wanted to be nice. Ralph wanted to help. Where is it? Did you see it right out the back door? Connor, what's going on? It's in the area. Call it in. Which way did it go? That way. They're headed for the train station. I'm gonna go with that kid. Good game, miss. They're over there. Right, so here we go. So once I go hot. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Oh fuck. That's insane. Where's the button to gear cuddle? Didn't, didn't give me the option. Bye. Get a finger. Right. There we go. So. 
Right, that means Right, well, that's not happened. We know that's the end in there, right. So if I go continue. Several sources report that Cyberlife has provided Detroit police with a prototype detective android. Let me don't scroll back, beware spoilers. Well, if anybody spoiled it, please get them fucking banned. Oh, th I think the mods already did it. Thank you very much. Right, now I'm not going to get into all that. So... Yeah, I'm not going to do all that. So if I go to main menu... Uh, confirmed. Thank you very much. Now I wonder what I'm going to see now. Now that Cara and Dwayne are alive. Welcome to the Detroit Experience. Hello. I'm an android and I'll be your hostess. Chapters. This is your story chart. It shows what parts of the story you've explored and what parts you've missed. You can track the choices made by other players and do many other things besides. Oh, here I never looked at them. Um... Use this chart to replay from any point in the story. But the people who designed me recommend that you play through at least once without going back, no matter what happens. Either way, it's your story. Thanks. Now let's see what people did. World percentage. Hank committed suicide. Correct. Captain Allen, I think he's all right. Only four percent. Corner feels to the fair. Allen destroys corner. Zero percent. You what? That, that's that's fucking. That's pretty good. That. I mean, it must be like point. Point one or point five or something, point four or something. How many people drove thingy to suicide or don't? That basically means it was a shit choice. LOL. No, 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 no. You don't get the game that I'm trying to play here. Um. A minute. No, 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 no. Oh, for fuck's sake, then it's there. Oh, Jesus. Right. Um. Right, there we go. Um. 6%. Fuck, oh, that doesn't matter. Right, look. Right. So. The last time you saw her was there, on the run, right? If I go here, nothing. If I go here, nothing. If I go here, nothing. What about here? Nothing there. 
because normally it shows you the two characters if Right. So right, there's that. Then if I go if I go here, I go to flow chart. I should see something that's got her all blocked. No, she's not in this one at all. The nest flow chart. Go here. No. So hold on, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna um speak to you in a wee second here. Right, I've got a question to ask you, and this is, um, I'm saying jobby here, is this. Obviously, if it was real life, we don't know, forget about this fucking analogy shite. Why is it no showing me in later chapters, um, it doesn't appear to be unlocking anything that is Kara related? Why is that? Now that, now that she's alive in an earlier one, I know. And I say to you, Joby, you may have to continue on the story from the point of where you got Kara across the road to unlock her scenarios. Like 4468 said, now that you've no killed Kara, you have to play it right. You have to replay it from that point, right? I don't think it saved your progress. No. You still have to play the level to unlock it in the menu. Play from the chapter she was in. It blanks it all out until you play from where you are where. You have to play it through again. You have to keep going from there onwards for it to save unlock her chapters oh fucking shut up uh, right alright so now I'm not going to pure date right but right there we are oh wait a minute right aye so all her stuff should be doing the bottom middle stuff is thingy up, oh, upper one is that. Oh, I see. So there you got wee lines there. Look, wee lines. That goes to that. That goes to that. That goes to that. And then on and on. And as you get to here, you could see. Right.
Right, so um, I'm gonna go. To, I'm gonna go to bed, right? But so see if I just continued for there. In fact, launch chapter. Right, so I don't I don't go to continue game because there isn't a continue game. In fact, there is. I would continue for the point. Wait. What? Are you sure you should continue? Maybe. Maybe we should leave things as they are. Um. I. As you wish. Right. I see, I see, I see. Kind of feels like there's maybe a wee kind of wee home somewhere. I mean, if, if, I, if I continued for this point, right, I'd do that Karis thing. Later on. I right, anything I do later on, if I skip ahead, do something there, that's eventually going to get wiped out. Then I go back. In fact, once I leave after, I kind of go back to the... Right, I get it, I get it. Right, I get it. I get it. Right, right, obviously I'm not going to go through this again. But, right, no, 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 no. No, no. Right. Well, troops, there you go. There's one ending. That's what I do. JJ Phillips, fancy another blast on the big break theme tune before bed. Aye. -la -la -la. It's only a... Would you mind if oh. I asked you a few questions? Just to get to know you better. Mm -hmm. Look at her face. No. Yes. Who's your favourite character in Detroit? Uh, I guess. Was there a moment in Detroit that resonated with you personally? Once. Uh, all right. Oh look, I've got the once least answer. Most people, Connor was their favourite character. Get to fuck. Marcus was the least liked. Racists. Hey troops. Oh, way bad. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you later. Oh no no, I forgot. 
It's only a game, so put up a real good fight. I'm gonna be stickering you tonight. Da -da 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 -da. I'm famed for my aim, so you better believe I'm right. I'm gonna be stickering you, stickering you tonight. Stickering you, stickering you tonight, big break. See you later.